crowd very appreciative of having number 10 back. Angel Reese, here's Kitley. Elizabeth Kitley right away with two. Really nice cross screen to get Liz Kitley the look on the right block. She loves that little fadeaway. Williams trying to feed Reese down on the post. Amor out of the pack comes away with it. Kayla King with a handle there. Up with it, Amor, and that'll drop in for two. Nice touch for the 5'6 senior. Rebecca Lobo, Andrea Carter with us as well. Angel got a huge hand moments ago, a standing ovation on the court with Kim Mulkey. Everything looks fine now. Morrow able to drop down to the 6'1 junior. Yeah, Morrow certainly looks a lot more comfortable uh, in the last four games than she did early in the season. Already taking a couple today. What a block by Fajay Johnson. Amor on the drive, sealed off, now back inside. And a pass right there for Kintley in two. I think it's really a measure of the stardom that Angel has achieved. On SportsCenter last night, it was right behind Aaron Rodgers returning to quarterback. Reese getting downstairs for two. Amor about 35% beyond the three. It's a pull-up jumper for two. Averaging 19 a game while with Louisville against them. Eck getting in tight for two. Nice hard drive. Yeah, I'm impressed by Matilda Eck. She has been solid this season, shooting the ball from the perimeter. Kicks it back out. Johnson on the drive in traffic. Lost it right. Teresa dribbled down and flips it up. That won't fall. Lost it right. Teresa dribbled down and flips it up. That won't fall. Williams now, little fall away, and that'll drop in a whistle, and that's going to go the other way. Amor off the fake, gets free, and sticks the triple. What a tough shot. You saw the drop coverage on the on-ball screen by LSU. Every time down the floor when you're going against LSU. Let's bring in Drea. Well, you all mentioned Angel Reese earlier and her return. It's another big-time three by Eck. And here comes Angel Reese. 6'3 junior from Baltimore. Lost it behind her back and a whistle on the deck with 304 to go in the first. I love that she said when it comes together with her and Angel Reese, it's going to be scary. She did. Very confidently. King can't hit. Right back up for Kitley. Going into the fourth quarter. Rally to win. 79-72 was the final. Morrow starting to get rolling here offensively. Amor on the drive to the baseline. Long jumper on the way and off target out of the corner by Eck. Kitley battling underneath, really fighting. Has it stolen away by William? Was new shot with a foul a moment ago. Morrow gets another look. She'll switch that in. She's just been there bailout. Also seven rebounds at 5'10. She really crashes that glass. Williams line drives it and takes the hit as well. She'll be at the line. See here, come out with the on ball screen. Williams able to get in, score, get the end. And will no longer have divisions. Check out the SEC football schedule reveal Wednesday, December 13th at 7 o'clock Eastern on the SEC network and the ESPN app for LSU. Mishaw trying to make a move to the paint, lost it. Picked up by Morrow. LSU had an opportunity there straight on, and that is nothing but net by Wenzel. And steps right into the trail three. Johnson. Yes. Nice answer. A lot of confidence there as well. Tied at 23. Amor on the drive. It opens up for her, and it won't drop. A rebound up and in, however, by Mishaw. Angel Reese up against Kitley. Williams with a jumper. Got it. Gives Williams a cushion when she catches it back on the perimeter. She can really nail the 3 2 56%. Up in front, Morrow, and will lay it in. Gives Williams a cushion when she catches it back on the perimeter. She can really nail the 3 2 56%. Up in front, Morrow, and will lay it in. On the court, her teammates doing their thing as well. Anissa Morrow, over three is... Uh... Might as well take that baseline. Kitley's open, yes. 
Just about automatic for the All-American. Georgia Amor is just bouncy. When I mean, she has the basketball in her hands, the way she comes off screens, the way she moves, just see her there, that move. Man, bouncing right into the lane. Three up top and chased down by Mishaw in North Carolina. They won two state championships together in high school. Back over to the Tigers. Angel Reese got the start. Nice pass and up and in. Nice cut as well by Johnson. Angel Reese in the lane. Denied by Kitley. Terrific block. Really nice job by Kitley to stand her ground. Williams, 56% beyond a three point line. If she chooses to, will fall away. Got it. She has a nice touch. He said we missed them in the second quarter and we lost confidence. Then he felt like as LSU gained momentum, his team got stagnant offensively. And then he said defense, his team got stagnant offensively. And then he said defensively, we've got to do our work early. They got position on us and it led to too many fouls. Rebound up and in there by Reese and a quick strike to begin the second half. Amor off the fake. It was outside the three, we'll take it inside the lane that'll roll off the iron rebound oh and a big block once again it's Morrow defensively and that'll roll off the iron rebound oh and a big block once again it's Morrow defensively you talk about their energy their pressure it's made all the difference Williams with a pull up pop drains it back on the drive Williams sealing her there here's Kitley to the paint up and over Morrow draws the foul as well a little bit of wisdom creeping in <laughs> unintentionally. Reese on a low block and just about unstoppable when she gets it down there. Really nice job that time to get into the body. Strack who fouled out in the first half. Anymore on the drive. She loves that shot. She makes it a lot. Really nice job. Kayla Williams, the freshman. She's going to be a star, I think, for the Tigers. They could not get her off the practice floor today. She'll drive that one in on a liner. Here, the season where she scored 42 was 10 or 15 from the floor. McDonald's All-American. Amor again using the window beautifully. Great touch there by the point guard. Great touch there by the point guard. Sorry, she was 15 of 20 from the floor. She'll fire it again oh. from three-point land. A 15 out of 20 shooting it in that game. Everything opening up for Amor. Another drive and an easy bucket for her. That really gave LSU some difficulty in the national semifinal game. And look is open. Yes, a three. Nothing but net. She'll kick it here for Johnson. Johnson on the move. And a lot of iron, but it'll roll in. The Hokies having trouble hitting their shots. This game was tied 27-27. LSU on plays like that, the run up by Johnson, have now outscored the Hokies 26-10 since then. The defense triggering it. Amor, tough angle, knocked it down. Doing it all on this floor at the Pete Maravich Assembly Center. And stolen away and scooped up by Morrow. He's had a big one as well. Here's Williams. Johnson trying to get in close. That was nifty. Amor. Kidley down the lane. Got that one to go. They need a whole lot more of that. From the two time ACC player of the year. And Lith will back it away. On the drive, a very difficult angle, but banked it in anyway. Looking for a hot hand. Eck on the baseline. Out for Kane. Yes. They'll take it. Minute 20 in the third. Angel Reese on the bench, Morrow off the window. Uh, uh, one possession here in the third quarter, and it resulted in a Haley Van Lith open three. Oh, Morrow just having herself a night and enjoying every minute of it. Amor is the one keeping them within distance anyway for most of the night. She'll pull up and fire and hit it. 
Virginia Tech, you see them back here in their zone defense. Johnson steps back and fires. Or another rebound, so strong under there. And we asked her about that today, and she loves the idea of coming in as a new player here. Another strong drive by Abor for two. She's keeping them alive almost single-handedly for stretches. But they gave up 26, so here, again, see them in, in their zone defense. Oh. But Taylor Williams. Yeah, that, that, that's a zone buster all to herself. Now she did miss four games, four consecutive games. She was practicing with the Tigers all along there, too. Up and in Wenzel for the bucket to make it 66 to 52. But I mean, from, from the start of the game, she was uh, doing a great job getting on the offensive glass. She's been working hard in a little bit of foul trouble, as we've seen. But here, a another time where LSU doing a good job reversing the basketball. Polish, this is the same group that's been playing all season. Virginia Tech is also a team, as we see Amor going up with a mid-range. That is going to look very, very different come February. And right. Angel on the move. Johnson scrapping for it. Got it to go and takes the hit. The year at the high school level, Naismith High School All-American, won a ton of honors and stayed home. Flipped up and in by Eck on the drive. Georgia Amor continues to make her shots. She has not been able to pull any teammates along with her in big numbers. She has 25 points tonight. 240 left in the contest. Tough bounce speed and up and in. Michaela Williams has played a huge role in this one too. Shot clock's at four. Gets the shot up there and drains it. That is one confident shooter. As you can see, that did not play out. LSU ran away the early moments of the second half. And they continue to pour it on. Up over 80 points now, 82. Final four. It won't be the same score, but it will be the same result. LSU, the defending champs, will once again knock off Virginia. Misha up and in. 